is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina today. Another one of these solar generators. This company reached out to me and were really adamant about me checking this thing out. It is from Flashfish is the name of it, and it does come with a 50-watt solar panel, so I agreed to check it out. I love solar. I love off-grid stuff. And so you never have too many uh, things like this, so I said, sure, why not? Let's do it. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Um, this one's not quite as big as the, uh, the main one that I got for the radio station, but this one will be perfect for a uh, camper or backup for, uh, say, the router or something like that if the power goes out. Uh, I'm just going to unbox this, but there's the manual for it. And once we get it out, I'll show you the, the stuff here. There we go. I'll just go ahead and put that on the ground. And there we are. Pretty compact unit from the looks of it. All right, so on the front here, AC. Let's see if it has a charge. Hopefully it does. Okay, let's go ahead and power it up. All right, 55 percent and we have there we go AC and DC so you can run those two simultaneously it looks like three USB ports two DC outs on the side here uh, DC in so that would be our charging port we have a grounded and non grounded plug on the back side here it looks like we got a lot holy cow yeah we got a light with some different brightness and features. Good Lord. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. And over here on this side, the cooling fan. I do like that it's got this nice little foldable carry handle. And it is the Flash Fish portable power station. 292 watt hours. And that is uh, 5 to 15 volts DC input. So for our solar, 320 watt pure sine wave at 120 inverter. And so it's showing for solar, 18 to 24 volts in. And uh, there you go. Model A301 is the model number on that, okay? Go ahead and turn that back off. Right. And then we have this is our port, our manual support. Not a lot going on here. Um, does have a 12-month warranty, it looks like. So pretty cool. And then in the smaller package here, let me get the smaller package open. There we go. We got a 12 volt charger, all right, cigarette lighter charger. We got a 12 volt out, so I plug that in, and I can plug that into an accessory and run direct 12 volts. Uh, I won't take that out, but it looks like a uh, USB-C cable that would, I guess you can charge off of that, apparently. And then lastly, our, our wall-mounted charger. And let's see here, that is 15 volts at 4 amps, so pretty good, pretty good charger. I imagine that probably charges fairly quickly. Okay, nice. So far, nice. Again, very compact. The second box, and let me go ahead and open it up, is the 50-watt solar panel for this thing. And uh, let's check that out. So it comes in this... Feel that? It's kind of this... I don't know, canvas, I guess, is what that is. And it's Velcro. And check it out. Very nice. Um, and it feels, yeah, it's flexible. I don't know how flexible. I'm not going to like bend it in half, but that is a really portable setup. And that's why I was like, yeah, sure, let's do this thing. In this little pocket here, we've got our USB charging. So it looks like you could charge USB directly off of this solar panel without having to hook it up to anything. And then we've got our power plug out. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of here got our power plug out and that's this here and that's cool that it includes some of these so we have our plug but we also have adapters because you could run this off of several things some of the larger ones use a larger prong this one uh, takes the smaller prong so the regular standard size that goes in there but some of these are larger so it came with a variety of different methods 
And I really dig that. That was a nice feature that they added in there. And then it comes with its own little manual. 50 watts at 18 volts. And shows, uh, you know, basically how to go about doing that. Now this does not appear to be in English. Maybe the other side. Yes, there we go. So this is in English here. Very cool. All right. Well, I'll tell you what let's go and do here is take this outside. And we got some pretty decent sunlight today. Let's let's get a reading. Let's hook this up. Let's find out if it's really putting out good wattage. And then let's plug it into this and uh, see how well it works, okay? All right, here we are out here in the sunlight. So I apologize if the uh, camera angle is a little goofy, but I've got my 50-watt solar panel, flexible solar panel out. It's collecting sun. It is charging, 55% and charging. So it's actually 56, if you can see that. And it came with a pretty decent sized cable. You could put it a few feet away anyways. So let's go ahead and plug in. I've got a couple of things you, you could possibly run off of this. And here's one right here. This is the uh, Radio Oddity RT, or I'm uh, sorry, CB27 Mini Commander. And I've got a portable antenna hooked to this. This is the back of a unit thing. This just has a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. And uh, we'll power up the unit. And there we go. So we've got it powered up. I'll go ahead and turn this on. And uh, and there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can try to turn the uh, squelch down here. So running straight off of 12 volts. We have the option to run straight from 12, right? Well, what if we were out camping and we wanted to have the ability to hook up to a GMRS or a radio uh, setup like this one, which I love this little midland here. This thing is great. I've got the cords all tangled up here, but I'll go ahead and untangle that. There we go. And we'll plug that in. Now, this can be plugged in via USB, so you could power it off of USB. But I want to plug it into the 110 here and see if it'll work off of that. So I'll go ahead and turn the 110 on. Just real weak, but there it is. So it works, right? You can plug it in off of 110, you can plug it in off of 12 volt, you can plug it in off of USB and power your campground. Um, would I recommend this for, you know, off-grid living overall? No, it's not meant for that. This being a 300 watt unit, you could run, uh, you know, in a power outage, a couple things. The thing up here, like we have uh, fiber optics for internet. And when the power goes out, the uh, system that converts it into being able to be used in the house doesn't work. So this is perfect. Plug it in. It's a very low wattage requirement for that inverter to power up that stuff. And I could power my router and my fiber optics set up so I still have internet capabilities use the main solar system to power up other items in the house so I'm really happy with that the this thing here this 50 watt panel is really nice uh, the fact that it's got its own kind of carrying case little handle here the fact that you could charge uh, USB so you can recharge your phone with just this if you don't want to bring the inverter if you know you're just going to be operating off of USB only well you could just bring this with you or throw it in your trunk and if you needed to recharge your phone you could probably open this up and slap it on the dashboard and leave it there all day and have a fully charged phone to say the least when you got back done so yeah pretty cool that is the uh, a301 i think it is right flash fish and not bad not a bad deal anyway that'll do it for today i'm eric the owner of farpoint farms hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you next time take care